Hello guys, once again welcome back to Darkpool VFX Studio. In this video we are talking about how to create this type of color grading using DaVinci Resolve Studio. For that, I added this video to our timeline, then go to color grading page. Here we can see a node section, a viewer section and a wheel section, also a curve section. After that you can see a scope. Now we can go to this node section. You can't see this, just click on this node. After that, we can right click on this node and choose the option Node Label. Here, we can add a name, primary node or something like that. After that, we can add a serial node. For that, right click on the node and choose the option Add Node, Add Serial. Click that. Or you can use the shortcut alt -S or option -S. In this node, we can reduce the over white color of this video. For that, I can go to the lift in the primary wheel section. And under the lift, we can see a scroll button. Click that and scroll it backward or scroll it left side. After that, you can see in parade, the value is almost go to zero. The important thing is that the value should not be cross the limit zero and 1023. Now we can label the node lift white. After that, we can add one more serial node using alt -S or option -S. Here we can change the gamma white section. Click the scroll wheel and and we can arrange it like this Gamma White Now add one more serial node Here we can adjust the gain Gain means it's almost look like highlighted area I think this is enough Gain White After that we can increase the saturation of this lady for that, I added one more serial node. In this serial node, we can increase the saturation. I increase it to 100. Here we can give a name, Sat. I added one more serial node. Now we can go to this curve section. You can see a curve like this. In that, we can see a three dot. Click that and choose the option Enable Spline. After that, click on the highlight point and change the curve like this. Here we can give a name S curve white. Okay. After that we can add one more serial node. In this section we can change the greenery color to blue. For that I use the option hue versus hue. Click that. Now come to this viewer. Here you can see a new icon appears that is color picker or eyedropper icon. Pick the color using this icon. Come back to hue versus hue. Here we can see the graph of this color. Now we can click on the middle point and drag it to downwards. The color comes to pure green. Drag it a little bit downwards. Now you get a blue color like this. We can add one more point here by left clicking and drag it downwards. Now adjust the color like this or this, whatever you like. I think this color is good for me. We can add a label, Q vs Q. After that I added one more serial node. In this I can reduce the saturation of this green color. For that go to Q vs saturation. Click that and select the area. Now we can reduce the saturation of this green color. But the green color is then to blue. So we can see the graph is here. So you can reduce the curve on the blue. Or you like a over saturated image, you can increase the saturation. In this case, I reduce it like this. After that, I added one more serial node. In this node, we can reduce the over luminance of this green color. For that, I choose the option hue versus luminance. Pick the green color. Reduce a little bit of luminance. Great. Now I added one more serial node. In this node, I am going to color grade this video. For that, I am going to offset and change the color a little bit like this. Now I am going to add a parallel node. For that, right click on the node and choose the option add node, add parallel. Or you can use the shortcut alt P or option P. After that, click on the node and change the offset like this. 
here we can rename offset to after the merge i added one more serial node in this node we can adjust the offset like this 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 whatever you like i think this color is good after that i added one more serial node in this node we can reduce the over shadow like this and also you can adjust the saturation and the color boost now go to the viewer and use this button for before and after that's all if you like this video please like share and subscribe see you in the next video